leadership, you have to choose which battles to fight. Now, I'm going to talk about Kaepernick. And I'm going to talk about black people and where they are in this world today. Today, the fight is about economics. It's an economic freedom. When you're in the wrong fight, you're not a leader. Every life matters. You can't take people who are following you down the wrong path, take them over the cliff. That's not leadership. You uplift people, take them to the top of the mountain if you're going to lead. The message today is that leadership, you have to choose which battles to fight. Leadership, you have to choose which battles to fight. Now I'm going to talk about Kaepernick and I'm going to talk about black people and where they are in this world today. For, all, for centuries, hundreds of years, black people have been struggling, struggling to find their way in this world. They have been oppressed. They're not the only ones. Almost every race at some point have been oppressed. Right? And a lot of times people are oppressed because of other reasons. Maybe it's your social status, right? You're born to a caste system in India. You're born to serfdom in Europe somewhere where, you know what, you're born in this group, you stay there, right? The king and all the, his court live in the life. And you're there oppressed. Maybe you're born in a political system, communism or a dictatorship. People have been oppressed in many ways for hundreds and hundreds of years. But I want to talk to black people right now. We have been oppressed for a long time. We found our way, not of our, of our own choosing, in places like the United States, places like the Caribbean, Jamaica, my home country, Latin America. We're all these places, right? Regardless of, of what, how we got there, the fact is we're in these amazing places. Amazing places. I talk about how much black people own in this world. The Caribbean island. Can you imagine if black people were not in the Caribbean island? You'd be bitching about that. But you own these islands. You own an entire continent called Africa. And you're over 13% of the United States people. Think about that. You're significant. You go to Brazil. You go to Latin America. The African people. The contribution, amazing. But you've been oppressed all this time. Jewish people have been oppressed. Amazing oppression. And I want you to talk about how they look at their oppression. How many times do you see the Jewish people walking around, marching in the street today? How many times? About how they're oppressed. About police brutality. About voting rights and all those things today about their gender. I want to look at that. You know what they do? You know what the Asians do? Indians do? It's about economics today. You hear me now and you can spread this anywhere you want to be and talk about what I just said. Today the fight is about economics. It's an economic freedom because a lot of people are all over the world. Do you know that in India, the majority of people are living on less than one dollar a day? Poor! Do you know that they're all over the world? Their people today are dying to reach America. They'll do anything to get here. And we have black people today who get to places in this world, to heights. Maybe they're athletes, maybe they're entertainers. May they are surgeons and doctors like me. May they are investors like me. May they are major corporation, entrepreneurs. You get to that point. And what do you do? You're in a leadership position. You have to choose your battles. What battles are you going to fight with your blessing? So I want to talk about Kaepernick and everyone who wants to follow him. Let me tell you this. Kaepernick was born to a 19 year old woman. Married, she got pregnant. 
by a black man. He left her. She was on her own at 19. So now she's looking at herself with this son. So she decided she wanted something better for him. So she put him up for adoption. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He doesn't even grow up black. He gets this opportunity. He gets to go to college. He's a, an incredible athlete. Football, baseball, basketball. He was... Right? He had all this opportunity, all his life. Blessings after blessings. He's adopted. He makes it to the National Football League. You know how many black kids are struggling out there just to make it? Black, white, indifferent. Just to get a shot at the NFL. And he gets there. Plays for one of the most recognized teams in the world. San Francisco 49ers. And for all those of you who don't know this story, I want to let you know it. For all those who know, I want to remind you of what I'm talking about here. So now, he, he makes it to the Super Bowl in two years. Life is phenomenal. You're making money. You're on the, on the national stage. You're on the world stage. Right? You're adopted and you made it to the top. Everything you have. And you decided that what you want to do with that platform, what you want to do with your blessings, is to fight against the American flag? Is to take a knee during the national anthem? You tell me how that makes any sense. Hundreds of years of history of black people struggling. And you make it to the top. And your battle is to fight against great America? Now you have the president. You're going to fight against him? You're going to fight against every police officer out there? You're going to pick up Black Lives Matter? Every life matter. Where do you come with that? That's your battle. And you take a knee. Once. But then you take it more than once. And now entertainers and athletes. The bling bling crowd. Want to be seen. They start encouraging that stuff. All these other young black men. Who make it to the NFL. Who are one paycheck away from getting cut. You see Tom Brady out there. Who is the greatest quarterback in the world. He's looking to see how he can win. He's an athlete. He's playing for very wealthy people who are trying to run a business. If the NFL runs out of business, how many people are unemployed? Is that the battle you want to take on? Is that what you want black people to support? Is that what you're trying to tell me I should support? No, you're going against the American flag. This is a great country. It's a beacon for freedom. You respect the flag. You keep... You know what? You can have your fight. Yeah. But that's not the platform for that. Go out there and help adopted kids. Help other kids. Tell them the story about how you made it. How you got lucky. You're telling me it's not about the flag. It's about the flag. It's about country. You're on the national stage. You're on national TV. It's during the national anthem. It's about that. You can't be taking on the United States as one man. You know when the black people have tried that and lost everything? Marcus Garvey, one of, he's a mentor. I've read about his life. He came to the United States from Jamaica. And he had a phenomenal message about personal economic development. Right? He believed in individual responsibility and empowerment through economics. You are in this country, own your own business. Go out there and work and do well for yourself. That's who I follow. Right? A lot of black people hated him because he's not marching, talking about civil rights. You know what? That's great. During that time, that was a good cause. But he also had a great cause. Economics. That's what it's about today. It's about economics. Where are, your, where are you in life? What's your status in life? Can you pay for your college kids? Right? You are looking at your kids and see what it, how can they rise up in life. You're going to take on fights that you don't even understand where it's going to go. Colin Kaepernick didn't even think about the end. What is he trying to achieve? He didn't even think about what are the consequences. And now black men are doing that on all, all throughout the NFL. And I'm watching all these entertainers talking about you are kings and how you should do this encouraging these guys while they're bling blinging all over the place driving around in limo
Can you imagine that? Black men are encouraging other black men to go lose their job. The NFL is not the platform for that. So when you're a leader, you choose your battles well. Marcus Garvey chose the right message. But he didn't take care of himself. That's why he got deported to Jamaica. He died a pauper. Poor. He was here that long and didn't take care of himself. You can't go out there to fight battles and in a glass house. You're in a glass house and you're throwing stores, you're throwing boulders and rocks. You listen to me. Don't throw stones if you're in a glass house. Colin Kaepernick is in a glass house. He can't even get a job. And I hear people begging for him, give him a chance. He won't even apologize. You got to know if you're a leader and people are following you. You're on the cover of Time Magazine. You're no leader, man. If you don't understand when you're in the wrong fight, you're not a leader. I speak to any leader out there right now. You're leader of a country, leader of an organization. You can't take people who are following you down the wrong path. Take them over the cliff. That's not leadership. You uplift people. Take them to the top of the mountain if you're going to lead. You find yourself in leadership position. You speak out. And you speak out with intelligence and speak out about the right thing. Colin Kaepernick should come on and say, you know what, I apologize. I had a message. I chose the wrong platform. I, sh I, you know, I chose the wrong way to do it. But I still believe in my cause. That's what you do as a leader. You don't go hide away and try to sneak in and get a job. No one's going to hire you. Because they're afraid that you're going to come on and do it again. NFL is a business. Be careful, black people, how you make everything about race. Making it about economics today. Uplift yourself through economics. Don't make race your issue. Because there's no good end to that today. Celebrate your race. Celebrate your ethnicity. Celebrate it. You know? Bring that to the world. Hey, I'm black and Jamaican. I'm 876 adopted with my Jamaican flag. I'm Jamaican pure blood. Cut me anywhere. I bleed Jamaica. I want you to know that. I'm going to bring something to the table from my Jamaican background. But I'm not going to force you to tell you what. Listen, I'm black and Jamaican. You need to accept me in, you know, because I'm trying to be white. You need to accept me because I'm trying to fit into your world. That's not what leadership is. So I'm telling you right now, you pick your battles and you don't pick a battle until, unless you understand where it can go. What's the end game? You pick a battle with the end in mind before you start. Colin Kaepernick decide, you know what? I think this is great. When the camera is on me and the national anthem, I'm going to put my knee down and disrespect the country. And I'm going to talk about it's about police brutality. And you know what? I'm going to get famous. My Instagram post is going to blow up. You know? That's what's going on today. Black people who have made it are just about Instagram. Look at me bling bling. Look at me opposing, looking all great. I have a million followers. That's what I'm all about today. Check it out. And I'm telling you, if you're black, and especially if you're Jamaican, you learn about leadership and you lead yourself. Eagles don't flock. Eagles don't go search for worms with chickens. You understand me? You get up today and you remember this lesson. You don't pick battles unless you know where you're going with it and what's going to be in it for you. And if you find yourself in a leadership position, leading a country, leading an organization, you give that the amount of respect that people are willing to follow you. Don't take them over a cliff. Don't take them down into a gully. Take them to the top of the mountain. This is the doctor, 876. And I'm not happy about this. So you guys go out there and spread the word right now. Make this video viral. If it's one person on here, two person on here. Black people, for hundreds of years you're struggling, you start figuring out how to get your economics together. Get your house in order before you go on national TV and talk about Black Lives Matter and all those kind of things. Economics is what matters today. Taking your kids to school is what matters today. Paying your insurance so that you can have good health care is what matters today. You understand that? That's what matters. Follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prove Yourself TV, to get more proven success tips.